Uh, my name is Jay, and I work in queer events, and I'm a sketch comedy writer, and I'm a member of Queer Sober Atlanta, just a regular member. Uh, queer Sober Atlanta is a group of queer people who are queer and sober or sober curious, and our founder, Casey, just decided that um, a, sp a lot of queer events center around like the nightlife scene, like the bar scene, so this was a space where people who were out of the bar scene could like still come together and uh, find their people. I got involved because Casey literally uh, posted that she was having an event for, uh, I think it was hookah and tea at her house. So I showed up sight unseen and uh, Casey welcomed me into her home and I got to meet everybody and we all just chatted and had tea and got to know each other. The work we do is important because not everybody is comfortable in the nightlife scene and it seems like that is um, a lot of the a lot of brands are especially liquor brands will actually invest into queer events because that's where the money is so this is a space for people who don't want to be a part of that scene anymore but still want to be able to find their people and find um, uh, safe queer spaces I think a misconception in Queer Sober Atlanta is that you have to be like strictly sober from everything and we welcome people who are sober curious or would wonder what it's like to live a sober lifestyle and I think that scares a lot of people away is that we're really, really stringent and very strict about how we uh, do things but it's the most welcoming scene I've ever been in. Like everyone I've met there has been so kind and welcoming and um, I just encourage more people who are sober curious to come and check it out. Uh, COVID has uh, changed the way that we do things because typically we met every month at Joe's Coffee Shop and got to meet in person. But once uh, the pandemic hit, we switched to having a monthly Zoom meeting, um, which is nice because um, a lot of people who weren't able to come to the in-person meetings because of transportation or whatever, were able to come to the Zoom. So it was like very user-friendly for everyone. But as of two weeks ago, we met in person for our first time in a year for like a socially distanced outdoor picnic. There's sort of like a sober movement that's happening right now. A lot of people, um, I think, at least for me personally, starting in, I think it was 2016, something happened in 2016 that really stressed, I think, the whole country out. And I think a lot of people dug into drinking uh, to cope with that. And for me, I just got to a point where it wasn't doing anything for me anymore. I was numb and I wanted to experience life. So I think a lot of people are having like a moment where they're trying out sobriety. So I think that in the future that there's going to be a lot more sober options for everybody. I think in the next five years, it's no longer going to be just Queer Sober Atlanta. We've already started Queer Sober Nashville. Uh, we're talking about somebody doing Queer Sober um, Chicago, Queer Sober Berlin, and hopefully every city can have its own iteration of Queer Sober and we can you know, visit other cities and it just be something that's more normalized within the queer community to have these sober spaces. To reach out to Queer Sober Atlanta, just uh, go on Instagram, search for Queer Sober Atlanta, and that'll funnel through our founder, uh, Casey. And you can reach out, we'll post when we're having um, meetups or any sort of um, events.